Hello everyone, this is the GP2 Win 2 running the latest version of Dolphin, which is running the GameCube version of Twilight Princess. Very quickly I'll just uh, show you how this works. I, I'm not touching on the settings screen because it is exactly the same settings that were used in Metroid Prime. So if you want to see the settings there, uh, just as a way to speed up this whole process, you could always just take a look at it uh, in the beginning of the Metroid Prime video. So let's, without further ado, let's just jump straight into how this game operates. What you want? So again, one of the nice things about 7Y30 is that you can see that even though it has the ability to go up to 7W or even more, it won't use it if it doesn't need to. And it'll, it selectively has different power modes and it aggressively seeks the lowest option, which is always nice. So in certain situations, especially like one playing Dolphin, you can expect to have, um, well, significantly less heat because again, you should always be seeing around 65C on GameCube types of games, but um, also better battery life. And since we're not trying to hit a 60 FPS target like Metroid Prime, hitting 30 FPS is way easier. Oh, now we have to corral in all these guys. Oh god, take him the wrong way. Sure.
yeah so i mean pretty quiet mostly nothing to explain there is no real difficulty playing Ugh, i hate when it does this Uh, yeah, so I don't think we need to really go over this anymore. It's um, absolutely playable, and even if there was any event where this game was more demanding in one area or another, um, we're well under 7 watts. So, um, anticipate playing a lot of GameCube games on Dolphin for even extended periods of time over PC gaming. Uh, you should have considerably more battery life when playing Dolphin games. Alright, that's pretty much six minutes. I'll go ahead on to some Wii stuff like Super Mario Galaxy. Thanks so much for watching.